What is going on everybody? This is Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. Hey, I wanted to do a quick pop-up video. Had a couple of people ask me about how tree debris removal works in terms of the Xactimate estimate. So I wanted to show you guys how you add that to the estimate. I remember being new years and years ago trying to add uh, tree debris removal to an estimate. Never fails. Something like this pops up about 8.30 at night. You're trying to get an estimate done. You're like, oh my gosh, how do I add this to the freaking estimate? And you're banging your head against the wall and nobody's available to call. So you go to bed frustrated, mad, upset, and you've got that hanging over your head the next day. So I wanted to show you guys how to add that. So we're in our estimate here. We've already got our dwelling in here, policy limit $130,000. We're going to play like the tree is on a house. So we're going to go to add options. If you look in most homeowner policies, it's an additional coverage. Nowadays, it's like a $1,000 limit. And what this tree debris removal is, the tree is on the house. To get that cut up off the house, it's paid under this same coverage limit that is available for the house. So essentially you have $130,000 to cut the tree up and get it off the house. Not cutting it up and hauling it to the dump just to get it off the house. In the spirit of the policy, the repairs can't go forward until that tree is off the house. So that's why it's paid under that same coverage. And we're gonna act like this is one of the standard insurance policies out there for homeowners. So under additional coverages, this tree debris removal pays up to $1,000 to cut it up and haul it off the premises. So we're gonna do $1,000. Then we're gonna go to our estimate items and we're going to put tree debris removal under debris removal in our grouping tree. Now the two that you're going to use probably the most is all under the DMO category, and you're going to use tree LHR, and think of this as two guys with chainsaws cutting trees up. The other one that you're going to use is tree HR. Think, think about this one as a tree company with guys or gals with chainsaws, a crane, a backhoe, any equipment needed like that. Those are the two that you're going to use the most. The other one that you're going to use is bid item. A lot of times you're going to get out to the policyholder's house and they have already got the tree removed. They've already got the tree cut up and hauled off. So you're going to use DMO bid item. I'm not going to concentrate on that right now. What I'm going to do is show you how to add tree debris removal if you're doing it yourself. So what you've got to do is you've got to think in terms of how long would it take a tree company to remove this tree off a house. Now, I don't want to get into the weeds as far as what if a policyholder wants to do their own tree debris removal or a policyholder says, I spent 60 hours cutting this tree up and got it off my house now, so you guys need to pay me. I'm not going to get into all that. There is a way to handle that, but this is really just a quick video to show you how to add it to your estimate. Okay, so we're going to uh, do tree LHR, and if you read your definition, it's basically workers with chainsaws to cut up a tree. So we look at the tree, look at the house, and think, okay, Eight hours will probably be plenty for those guys or gals to cut that tree up and get it off the house so repairs can begin. So what you'll do is do two workers working four hours each. That way, whoever comes behind you knows your thought process. The other thing you need to add, I've already got these saved as note templates, is I've got one tree debris removal for cover J and then tree debris removal for cut up and haul off. So I got this one. This is to remove tree debris from home, detached buildings, fence, etc. And see the coverage is dwelling. Now the next one, it's gonna be a duplicate line item essentially. And I'm gonna say, okay, so the tree's on the ground now. They need to cut it up and haul it to the dump. I figure six hours would be plenty for two workers working three hours each. And I've got my line note. This is to cut it up and get it off the premises. I'm going to go down here and it's going to be tree debris removal. Hit OK. OK, so we've got both of them on there now. I'll show you what this looks like on the estimate. You go to reports. OK, so under our grouping tree debris removal. You've got the one for coverage A here, the one tree debris removal cut up and haul off here. And so here's here's our summary page. Summary for the dwelling. This includes the stuff I've already added to the estimate, 6686. And that includes the coverage A tree debris removal. And this is the tree debris removal under additional coverages. That's how you add tree debris removal to the estimate. Hopefully save some frustration for somebody down the road. I'll see you Tuesday at four o'clock with the new video.